you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to have some kitchen science. And today we're going to do something that I find extremely fun. We're going to make mayonnaise. It's a really interesting process, so I hope that you will enjoy it and that you'll give mayonnaise making a try. These are the things we're going to use. I've got canola oil and soy milk. And if you don't like soy milk, and you're thinking about using a different kind of milk, like oat milk or almond milk, from what I understand, that won't work as well. So if you want to substitute for soy milk, you can use the liquid that's in a can of beans. Apple cider vinegar, ground mustard, and we need a little bit of a sweetener. I'm going to use honey. The recipe I'm using calls for a teaspoon of maple syrup, and since honey is sweeter, I'm going to use about a half teaspoon. And black pepper, we need about a half teaspoon of that. I'm just going to grind it right into this little container. Those are all of our ingredients, and we are ready to go. I'm adding all the ingredients except the oil to the food processor. And the honey's going in right now. Okay, so everything is in except for the canola oil. We are making an emulsion. We've done a temporary emulsion before. That was when we made salad dressing. So if you remember from then, an emulsion is a liquid suspended in another liquid. I'm going to quick give this a pulse. Okay, this is going to get noisy because now that I have all of that mixed together, I'm going to drizzle in. I'm going to drizzle in the canola oil. consistency and that's got a nice mayonnaise -y consistency let me get the top back on we'll give it one more quick pulse and we're ready to decant so mayonnaise is usually made with eggs. Some people really need to be careful of how many eggs they consume. And so, this is a really nice substitute for egg mayonnaise. So can you make mayonnaise with eggs at home? Yep, and you can find plenty of recipes on the internet. You just basically do the same thing we did but you'll use eggs. In this application, the food processor really makes it easy and creates a really nice emulsion for you. Can you do it without a food processor? Definitely. You can use a blender. An immersion blender is better, or a stick blender, than a standard blender. You can also use one of these. It's for making emulsions, so it's a cylinder that you put the stuff in. It's got the blades on it, and then you just do that and they spin. But, like I was saying, the food processor gives you a really nice emulsion. One of these little silicone spatulas is very handy for getting everything out of the food 
food processor. And you can find plenty of these recipes online. I used a recipe from Fuss Free Vegan. I've made it once before. It is so delicious. And you can keep it in the refrigerator for like two weeks. As saying goes, the proof is in the pudding, so let's give it a quick taste here. It's very light. The honey's not too sweet. The apple cider vinegar gives it a really nice tang. So, if you are ever in the situation where you need mayonnaise and you've run out, but you have canola oil and vinegar and ground mustard, Here's a quick substitute for mayonnaise. You can use it in your favorite recipes. We will be back next week with more Explore and Create. And of course, I'll be back with another book video as well. I hope you enjoyed mayonnaise making and I hope that you'll give it a try sometime. It is a lot of fun. I remember the first time my mom made mayonnaise when I was a kid and we had gotten a food processor and I couldn't believe that the eggs turned into mayonnaise. So this is just a really quick way. I still find it amazing that these few ingredients turn into something as delicious as that. So thank you again. And I hope you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And I hope that you'll be back again with me next week. Thank you.